Hello everybody, welcome into this new video. Let's see how we can connect and set up our CTA dropshipping using our Shopify account. You can use more than one website. If you go actually into the CJ dropshipping suppliers, what you want to do is to figure out which are the integrations that can be added into your store. So I'm going to get into integrations like this. And here we have the e-commerce platforms that support the CDA dropshipping in the 2022. In our case, it, re it is 2023. So here is, for example, eBay, Etsy, TikTok, Lazada, Press the Shop, and much more. In our case, we're just going to be using Shopify. So if I go into my Shopify, what I do want to do, the first thing that I want to do is to install CDA dropshipping inside the App Store of Shopify. So I'm going to go into apps and here I want to look for the CJ dropshipping. If you don't find that when you want to go into recommended apps, you want to scroll all your way down until you find the Shopify app store. And in here, what you do want to do is to look for the CJ dropshipping. Now it's taking just a few seconds to charge here my website. I don't want to look for that because I already have this installed. So I'm going to click in there and I need to grant the access in order to continue. So here is the CDA dropshipping. Now, it's going to be asking to create an account or to just sign in. In my case, I've already created an account here into CDA dropshipping. So it's going to be taking me into the CDA dropshipping. If you don't have an account into the CDA dropshipping, it's going to be really, really simple just to create an account. You want to input your email as well as your passcode and a phone number. And once you do have an account, it's going to be appearing the grant access available. So if you go back into your Shopify, you hit into apps, you might see that CJ dropshipping is now into the installed applications. Now, how can we set up correctly the CJ dropshipping into Shopify in order to start um, adding products? If I go into my products of Shopify, you might see that I have one product in here, one status and one inventory. And actually there's a lot of stock here and 10 variants. So uh, I just add that using the CJ dropshipping. So I'm going to be showing you how we can do this in a very easy way. So I'm going to get into the CJ dropshipping.com and in here I want to locate that my profile is now being set up correctly. So here it is my profile. Here's my first, my last name, my email, the mobile, the country, and my address. So you want to fill this information. You want to fill as much information as you can in order to um, let's say to fail to have like more chances to don't have an issue with money and all that. So here into my stores, you want to hit into edit and here you want to enter the store link that is available into your account. In my case, I do only have Shopify and here are all the elements that I choose. You can edit that later if you wanted to. So what I want to do is to click into the brand logo of the CJ drop shipping. And it's going to be taking me into the all the categories of items. So what I want to focus in here is only into one item that I can add. Now I'm going to be taking the same example that I did before. I'm going to be using uh, this kind of product so I can have like more relation between my items. So if I created something like a hoodie, sweater shirt with big pocket, I want to add the Valentine's Day's gift rose uh, flowers something like that or I'm going to scroll a little bit down and I can choose for more if you want to look for related products that you've already added you want to choose the product that you've already listed and you want to scroll a little bit down until you see the related products down in here so we're going to scroll a little bit down scroll a little bit more like this and here is the um, recommended products so I want to add, let's say, for example, this item, this woman long pool lover. I'm going to hit into list. And here, what I want to do is to change the name. So here's the store added by default, the ship from, the product type, the collection, and the vendor. If you don't have anything here, you want to add something new and you're actually good to go. Now, here we want to add, of course, the price that we want to sell our product. For example, here this product is uh, $9. So the total dropshipping cost is 
nine dollars, and there's no cost for the shipping fee and the service fee. So let's say that I want to sell this as fifteen dollars. At the end of the day, I'm going to be earning seventy-eight cents. So what you want to do is either higher your price or go into the recommended list in price. So here's going to be added the price of the item. So this is the profit you're going to be gaining, and here's my price added into the currency of my of my bank. So you're going to scroll a little bit down and choose into list it now. As you can see, here is the shipping cost down in here. You just want to take that in mind. After this has been successfully added into our list, what I want to do is to go into my CA drop shipping, and here I want to go into my account. I want to scroll all my way up. Look for my account. Look for my profile, and here you do want to look for your products. Here it is, product. I want to look for connection. So as you can see, the product has been connected automatically. So the order fulfillment is going to be added right away when someone makes、um, a order inside my store. Automatically, it's going to be sent it into the orders from my CJ dropshipping. So automatically, it's going to be charging the cost and all that. So I'm going to hit into my Shopify to verify that my product is now in here. I'm going to reload my page, and there we go. So as you can see, here's my second product already added into Shopify. So what I can do here, lastly, is to select, for example, this item and change the title I want to add,、um, like this. I want to delete this, and I want to hit into save. Uh, I don't recommend you to edit the description because the description actually it's looking really really great. They are doing really awesome works. So speaking about drop shipping, that's the reason why this is called drop shipping because we don't have to actually edit almost anything. But you can change, let's say for example, like the the price. You can add your brand logo in here. Whatever you want to do. So here you can see here's my two items. So lastly, what I just need to do. Is to go into my online store and add that into my website. So hit, go into online store, go into your themes, hit into customize, and inside the editor, what you want to do is to find this feature product. So I can change the feature product if I want to. I can add like more college or whatever I want to do here. So here,、uh, this is exactly what I can do here. This is really really easy to use. And now my items has now been added into my store. Lastly, guys, I need to tell you: you must, of course, know that you need to have your website added active in order to people can see your store. And you want to enable the payment options that appears in the settings. Go into payments, and here you want to look for a provider in order to receive money, depending depending of course into the country that you are currently living. So with that being said, this is a very basic way of how we can add Shopify,、uh, actually CJ Drop Shopify into our store and how to set it up. So thank you so much for watching the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel, and I will see you guys on the next video. The best of luck to you.